I'm Mary Dunkel, and I'm the Vice President of Communications for NORD, the National Organization for Rare Disorders. My article is a 30-year retrospective on NORD, the Orphan Drug Act, and the emerging role of rare disease patient advocacy groups. The year 2013 was an important year in the rare disease community because it marked the 30th anniversary of the establishment of NORD to represent all rare disease patients and patient advocacy groups, and also the 30th anniversary of the Orphan Drug Act, which was the law passed by the U.S. Congress in 1983 that created financial incentives to encourage pharmaceutical companies to develop treatments for people with rare diseases. The article takes a look at the really very interesting story of how patient leaders uh, back in the late 1970s and early 80s came together and realized that they had shared interests, even though they represented people with very different diseases. Uh, these patient advocates, many of whom were patients or parents or spouses of patients, uh, learned how to work with government officials at NIH and FDA who were also concerned about the problem. They learned eventually how to do outreach to the U.S. Congress, and they came and testified before an important congressional subcommittee. And ultimately, they also learned how to work with the media. In this case, specifically, uh, Jack Klugman, who was the star of a popular TV show of that time called Quincy. So it's just a really interesting story of how the Orphan Drug Act came to be and the uh, important role played by patient advocacy groups and uh, looking at how the groups have grown and developed and become more sophisticated about research in the years since then and uh, taken on really a very important role in trying to make uh, meaningful contributions to the development of treatments and, in general, to improving the lives of people with rare diseases.